And these London remarks continues to boil over and RSS is the latest one to wade in and hit out at the Congress's Member of Parliament. RSS now wading in, the General Secretary coming out and hitting out at Rahul Gandhi, claiming that he has a political agenda. Going on to say that history is being distorted, was being distorted in India for many years and Rahul Gandhi is trying to do the same. Listen. उसको विकृत करने के कुछ लोगों ने प्रयत्न भी किया है देश विदेशों में हिंदुत्व विचार के भारतीय विचार के बारे में कोई विषय को उठाकर उसके बारे में अनाप शराब करने का प्रयत्न भी हुआ है परिवर्तन क्या लाना चाहिए ये और भारत के बहुत सारे जो पॉजिटिव विषय हैं उसको भी जो विकृत इतिहास को प्रेजेंट करने का प्रयत्न पिछले 50 साल में कई लोगों ने किया कल्चरल हेरिटेज को वर्तमान युग में कैसे प्रस्तुत करना इसलिए युगानुकूल रचनाएं होने पर मुझे लगता है इसके बारे में कमेंट करने की कोई आवश्यकता नहीं है वो अपने पॉलिटिकल एजेंडा से चलते हैं हमारा और उनका कॉम्पिटिशन पोलिटिकल फील्ड के हमारा नहीं है वो संगत के बारे में कहते तो मैं इतना ही कहूंगा कांग्रेस के उनके पूर्वजों ने भी संघ के ऊपर बहुत सारे ऐसे किया देश के लोग भी दुनिया के लोग भी संघ को अपने अनुभव से देख रहे सीख रहे रियलिटी क्या है सबको मालूम है शायद वो भी जानते होंगे लेकिन मैं इतना ही कहना चाहता हूं एक प्रमुख राजनीतिक पक्ष के प्रमुख नेता के नाते he should express more responsibility and see the reality arun danta my colleague joining us for more on this arun uh, rss is the latest one to wade in and uh, fact check rahul gandhi this comes after rahul gandhi likened uh, the rss in london to the muslim brotherhood he said it was a fascist organization and now the rss has now come out and said that uh, rahul gandhi is no ordinary citizen he's a member of parliament he should speak more responsibly <laughs> well that's right and uh, you know we 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 don't often uh, listen to uh, the rss leaders talking to you know uh, media and uh, you know you know and take a hit out at the congress party this is uh, you know after a long time we are hearing that uh, the rss general secretary dattatre hospole uh, taking on rahul gandhi saying that uh, you know rahul gandhi should speak uh, with more responsibility because he is uh, going on a foreign land and he should not forget that uh, uh, during the emergency you know how uh, people had gone to jails uh, a lot of atrocities on the people of uh, the country and how can he speak all these things when the congress party uh, his party has not apologized for the emergency to the people of uh, this country so this is a direct attack coming from uh, the general secretary of uh, rss dattatre hospole reminding rahul gandhi about the congress raj how uh people suffered during this time and also telling rahul gandhi he should be little more cautious when he is talking about uh, uh, the democracy of india he also said that elections are taking place uh, in india even his party is in power in two or three states the parliament is functioning how can he send this wrong message uh, at a global global platform that uh, democracy is damaged democracy democracy uh, is not functioning in india so therefore this is direct attack coming from the rss number 2 at the congress party and rahul gandhi svb chal right around that controversy continues to simmer there uh, and rss is the latest one this also is interesting because rahul gandhi and the rss have had a tryst uh, themselves rahul gandhi is facing a defamation case for the comments he's made against the rss in the past as well when well, that's right we had uh, seen uh, rahul gandhi regularly uh, targeting uh, rss on uh, various issues wherever he you know he gets the opportunity to hit out at the bjp he all the time involves rss uh, in those things saying that how rss has completely influenced this government and how yes. uh, their people are being planted in different organizations yes yeah, sorry to uh, interrupt so you there arun uh, i'll come back to you but member of parliament rakesh sinha is now joining me on the phone line thank you so much for speaking with us here on cnn news 18 sir The RSS has also responded after Rahul Gandhi claimed that uh, the RSS is a fascist organization while he was in London. You know, for the first time in the modern Indian history, someone from Indian Parliament is going abroad and criticizing the country not 
to the extent that uh, demonstrating and exhibiting the fractured uh, uh, politics of the country, which is not. In fact, Rahul Gandhi is declaiming India's democracy is so that he has waged a war against the Indian people. It's not merely uh, devaluing the democracy. It is not merely criticizing Prime Minister Narendra Modi. criticizing RSS. In fact, he, when he declaims the India democracy, the high and rich democratic tradition, in fact, he, he is siding with those elements who, 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 which are not happy with the emergence of India as a global power and the vital role of Prime Minister Narendra Modi is playing in the global affairs. After independence, for the first time, Indian Prime Minister has a vital role and it is accepted by all the top leadership of the globe. Mm. And that that time when Rahul Gandhi in Oxford University is saying something, which is which is not which is far from the reality, and uh, Indian Parliament is a is a shadow of the Indian people's aspiration for democracy and the uh, and the in and the democratic tradition, mm. and he devalued. And moreover, when he criticizing the RSS at the foreign soil in in, in terms which are undesirable and unacceptable, this showed that. He is completely disconnected with his own party's old tradition. Yes, and, and which is why we had a uh, top RSS leader also come out and say that Rahul Gandhi must speak more responsibly. Rakesh Sinha, thank you so much for speaking with us here on CNN News 18.